are back, and Chef Randall, you are at work. Yes, I am. I, I apologize for the sound. That's okay. So, um, you know, one of the things that's really nice about having a product like this, or is it's it's called a wand mixer, a wand blender. Mm -hmm. um, in the in, in in our world, we have these things, but they're huge. You can literally power a boat with it. Actually, I don't know if you can, but <laughs> I really wanted to. You can go trolling. I really do. I mean, you they're can go huge. trolling with. You know, uh, the only thing is you need a power source. Um, but you know, it, 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 there's a couple of things that are really nice about this. When you take a hot liquid and put it in a blender, it's very dangerous. It can shoot right up the top and then and then really um, cause major problems. Uh, so I really, this is one that will save you burns, three degree burns, and just really, you know, it, it, it's a great tool for doing exactly what we're doing. So um, we're and again, let's remind everybody about what you added to this. All right, so we have so we had the the leeks that we sweat yep, out. Yep. Then we added our thyme and our roasted garlic puree and our celery rack, mm -hmm. the celery root, and our um, cauliflower and our potatoes. Okay. And then we had and then the broth I made from the tops of the leeks. So it's a vegetable broth. As of right now, this is completely vegan and vegetarian right now. Oh. Okay. But I'm going to make it not vegan. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm going to add in some about a cup and a half of half and half. And what is that going to do to it? I'm just going to add a little richness. Okay. You now you want to be careful when you do add this. Um, so we could have beaded that and then added it in. Um, since I'm on a burner right now, um, I can just bring it to a boil here. But I want to be very careful that I don't uh, rip, you know, puree this too long. Because if I do, I, I could, in a sense, whip that cream and cause some, some, um, some lumps that I really don't want to have happen. Speaking of that, you had the opportunity to, uh, now you, de you decided to, to work everything up, puree everything up. Mm -hmm. uh, a soup like uh, I've had before, you may want to keep the ingredients, sure. say the potatoes, firm. Or right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So there's two things. As I, you bring up a really great point. One is that this is a, a puree soup. So the puree meaning that we took vegetables and we pureed it in a liquid. Generally when you have a puree soup, your, your parts to your liquid are about the same. So if you had, uh, say, a quart of liquid, you would have about um, two pounds of goodies that are going in there which could be potatoes, you know, cauliflower, um, you know, all kinds of different vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just, you know, just generally that's what you're gonna do. And the other way that you get a, a creamy soup like this is you use a roux or some kind of thickener. And, and, you know, here we are getting a nice creamy soup but without having to use a roux. So this is gluten-free as well. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, so now what we're doing is we're ready to serve and I will serve you. Now, these are really big bowls. I, I didn't mean to get such a big bowl. Now, uh, there's a lot of things that you could add to this. You could add bacon to this. Of course, it's no longer going to be vegetarian. Um, and you could also add like some, maybe some fried leeks or croutons or something uh, of the sort. We're going to add a little, a little what I call emerald oil. Emerald oil is, is a puree of, of uh, herbs. And I got a little schmutz there. So we're gonna, we'll turn it this okay. way so you can't see the schmutz. <laughs> All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just swirl a little, a little oh bit. Oh, my. Isn't that pretty? Yes. And then um, we're going to add just a little bit of some parsley on. Oh. That's going to be for flavor. And I want to keep one clear for Zach so he can take a nice picture of it. Okay. And go ahead and try. Okay. And we should wait. And try it before we do anything with like salt or pepper or extra right. salt I, or pepper. I, yeah, I mean, some people just habitually want to add stuff like that. Automatic. It, it, it's it's Automatic. a habit. It's a habit. My dad doesn't. Oh, that's very good. You know, mm. yeah, I mean, it's just so simple and just, you know, I mean. What do you prefer with eating your soup? Crackers or crusted bread? Ooh, for me, yeah. cr crusted bread. Oh, okay. Now, my partner, uh, he has soup with his crackers. Mm. I like crackers too. Yeah, I mean, if, if it was him, I mean, this whole thing would be like cracker mm. mush. That's very good soup. Very, very good And soup. vegetarian. Again, uh, yep. gluten-free. Now, if you wanted to do a, a, a not, like let's say you wanted to have a creamy aspect, but you didn't want to use a cream or a milk, you could certainly use like an all oat milk or a, like a ripple. Makes mm -hmm. a really, really nice um, 
uh, cream-like uh, consistency uh, non-dairy product. All right, so, well done. All right. The uh, recipe it will be found on our website at valleynewslive.com, along with all of the other recipes that we have concocted over the course of our shows. If you haven't seen them, I advise you to go check it out. For now, we're going to say goodbye to you. We hope you have a great day, and we'll see you the next time we go cooking with Cashway. <laughs>